Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fairman Life at La Forge. On today's episode, first up I will be showing you guys a video of Dad um, with the H340. He's out spreading fertilizer in one of the fields here in um, the near farm. So I've got that on camera and I'll show you that now up first. So then on Saturday we have the kid goats arriving. So you will get to see um, our new kid goats. Um, so we have new alpine kid baby goats and they're arriving on Saturday. So I <laughs> will show you guys them arriving. And then um, we'll also show you kind of how we feed them on the bucket. We probably won't be showing the um, automatic feeder system on this episode just because we are going to take the time to train them in properly on the bucket and make sure they're all settled in well before trying to get them on to the automatic feeder but we will show you that again we have plenty more goats to come in the future as well I think Jessie's trying to talk And then I'll show you guys a video of dad. So he's going up to the second farm. He is going hedge cutting. So he has the hedge cutter on the back of the TM165. And also so that we don't have to go pick him up. He has got the Land Rover Defender on the back of the TM as well. So he'll be pulling that along the road. So we'll show you guys him doing that um, at the very end of today's video. So that's the end of today's video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Spreading fertilizer, uh, have our bug ball this way, have our bug ball uh, fertilizer spreader, uh, holds uh, four 600 kilo bags, uh, good machine. We had a sulky before that, it's a good machine as well, but uh, we couldn't get a big sulky the second time around, and we were looking for an Amazon, and people told us to stay away from them. I always thought Amazon were the the cream of the crop but uh, some people don't seem to like it now we put this on it here for picking it up for moving it to the other firm with the pellet works save damage on it uh, we're putting on uh, 300 kilos of NPK to the hectare this is uh, our whole crop and uh, tomorrow we're at the cereal um, so that was it. We put on white wheels there a couple of years ago. They're big white wheels of a combine. And they weren't in the right fit. We had to bolt the old centers back into it. Uh, we used to have double wheels on this tractor. And uh, we found that if you're going in and out of the road and you had a soft spot, you used to hold a lot of muck in between the wheels. And when you go on the road, you were destroying the road. So found these on the internet for uh, 300 euro the two of them and it was about 800 euros each for new tires for the machine so that worked out well <coughs> uh, she's mainly our tractor for uh, shaking manure and we put the sprayer fits on it because of the front linkage so we have the weight on today to keep it down uh, that was all I couldn't find I couldn't find the right top link for it, but it's okay. Actually, that weight is off it. Uh, that uh, front linkage is off a date spare as well. No, a date striker, my date spare, and uh, we just adapted it for that. So that's it. Uh, we'll show you now shaking a bit, and uh, that's it.
progress, clover and peace. Okay, so back in the kid goat shed. Um, so first up on getting ready is the doors. Just going to give a quick sweep down and then we are painting them with burnt oil. We have got all the pens now to get ready or at least two or three, four goats arriving tomorrow. So this will be the first batch of kid goats. It's Saturday now, mum and dad have gone off to collect the kick goods so they've gone with the high looks and the Murphy trailer. I just have to finish bedding the pen for them and then that is all that is left down in the pig shed or the nursery and you will get to see the kids arriving in just a second. It's good. Oh, look at them. There's so many of them. Oh, yeah. Look at them all. I know, Laura. Look at them. He's already trying to bite me. Come on. Get, get them in there in a sec. Don't let them jump out. Are the dogs in or out? Of course, they're in. Oh, yeah. Hello. No, they won't. <laughs> They would. They won't. <laughs> no. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, wait. No, you're staining. Welcome to La Fours. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, face off the camera, are you going to knock it? Are you, baby, going to knock it? Yep. Right. That might do it. Goats. Very, very stubborn. 
also very friendly, a bit too friendly. They literally just want to eat my trousers, my hair, my ears, my watch, everything but the teeth I am trying to get them on. Some of them have learned. This group here seems to be the most stubborn. The other two actually seem fine. Um, but yeah. So when these kids belong to two different owners, so same way we did last year, there was no problems. Um, so some of them were already sucking, which I believe are most of the ones from the other two groups. And in here, they were on drinking out of um, an Eve shoot. So they haven't really been learned taught to suck. So when you say stupidity kills, it's true because some of them are just so stupid they'd rather starve than figure out how to drink when you're shoving in the mouth. Baby bottle, definitely the best thing to do if they look like they're a bit too hungry. Um, just get a dose of half or full baby bottle in them and try again later. But you don't want to do this too much. You don't want to use the baby bottle too much because they'll just get used to it. Also, when using the bottle, I do pick them up to do it, even though we're used to smaller kids, the ones that are just born. They're not as, well, they are stubborn, but they're not as annoying. So a big one like this, it's harder to hold. But getting them up just makes it easier for me because I haven't got all the other ones pulling out my hair while feeding her and then I'm all trying to get the bottle. So the takes of the baby bottle are like two seconds and the bucket, they're just so stubborn. They're very cute. Annoying but cute. So that's that for today's video. I will leave you with the footage of dad um, bringing the Defender behind the hedge cutter, behind the TM165, all the way over to the second farm. And yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more episodes like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you in the next one.